Buonasera, signora and uh, signore, from border to border and coast to coast, and all the ships at sea. Let's go to press. This is your captain speaking, Captain No Account of the Mosaic Deluge. And this is the 26th of Janio in the year 2010. These are the voyages of the Mosaic Deluge. I don't know if you recognize that little opening um, shot across your bow. Um, it was from um, how Walter Winchell used to start his, his daily columns on the radio uh, long before um, McCarthy and uh, then uh, Jack Parr and other things took him down. Uh, he ended a sad life career as a journalist uh, on the streets of Los Angeles, trying to hand out mimeographed copies of his of his daily um, of his daily column. Boy, I sure hope I'm not reduced to that one day. Well, I've been thinking about these beautiful losers and uh, uh, people like D.W. Griffith, who uh, who wandered around uh, single occupancy hotels in in Los Angeles long after his day. Uh, it'd be sort of like Francis Ford Coppola so living on the Sunset Strip and saying, "I was famous long before 3D." Um, but uh, perhaps I'm thinking about these figures from the past because today I missed my train. I was supposed to go to Ravenna, but it uh, was a little bit late. I uh, just stopped for a cappuccino and, a, and one of those delicious pastries, and that was just made me three minutes late for my uh, train, so I decided to go tomorrow instead. And uh, so today I was kind of casting about uh, for something to do, and I decided to go to Murano. But as you go to Murano, you stop in the, um, uh, you can stop at the Cemetario, which is an island where they bury the dead, who, uh, uh, Venice is uh, dead. Now I'm going to try something a little complicated here. I'm going to, um, I'm going to turn this thing around and see if I can't um, take a picture of the, oh dear, I take a picture of the screen. And if I do, let's see what it'll look like. Um, oh, 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 let me see. Um, how about, how about this? Oh, okay, try this. All right. I hope we can see that. I don't know. I believe we can. I believe we can see that picture. Let me just Skype. Uh, let me just flicker upload. Um, oh, this is disaster. Uh, let me YouTube it a second and see if I'm if I'm actually getting the. I think I'm getting. Well, no, it'd be more like that, I guess. All right. I'm going to try. I'm going to try this because I thought it would be interesting to have a little slideshow here. So this is a, a slideshow of my trip to the Samario, this, uh, this, this cemetery this morning. Um, there's some lions guarding the gates. It's a rather decrepit old place. The, the, uh, the crosses and slabs are sort of falling down into the earth like and that angel is held up by wires um, there are beautiful monuments like this one to Sophia whoever she was delicious oh my darling my darling um, many many um, many sh uh, monuments to sailors with anchors on them for those who were lost at sea here's another broken anchor this one says, The heart knoweth its own bitterness, and the stranger intermeddleth not therewith. Sacred to the memory of Archibald Campbell Master, S.Y. Minerva, who died on board March 17, 1891, aged 56. Sometimes they have mosaics uh, on the... Um, 
uh, in set into the into the um, the tombstones, or you can buy um, uh, ready-made mosaics to um, to for your loved ones, or large giant mausoleum-type mosaics, or you can have something specifically created like this uh, picture of a sad whale disgorging the dead. I believe he's not swallowing Joan. I believe he's, uh, there's this, it refers to a kind of the, the seas casting up their, their dead at the, uh, at the judgment day. This is um, a monument to uh, Joseph Brodsky. And this is Diaglyev's uh, tomb uh, on the cemetery island, including things that have been left for him and ballet slippers on his tomb. This is um, Igor Stravinsky and his wife Vera, side by side. Uh, Igor's, um, Igor's name is in mosaic into the marble uh, top of his of his uh, his beer, and uh, this rather undistinguished clump of foliage is. Uh, I, I spent an hour looking for this, and uh, uh, finally, uh, right down here in the in, in behind behind there, I found a little patch of leaves which I got on my hands and knees and I brushed away, and it was the grave of. Ezra Pavand, Morta of Anasia. Well, anyway, such thoughts of mortality, of course, and of course we're all reminded of, uh, of, uh, uh, we're all reminded of uh, Thomas Mann's book, The Death in Ventus. Uh, set the day on a really uh, rather somber note. I've been uh, just thinking, musing about um, uh, the things, the things we've, the things we've lost, the things we've gained in life. And I decided, uh, I've decided, however, that I'm going to be rather careful not to eat those dirty strawberries that uh, Ned Massey worried me about. I'm just eating fruit with uh, with with a with a skin on it that I can peel away for for safety's sake and that's why I have these lovely um, darling clementines rosy lips above the water blowing bubbles soft and fine but I alas I was no swimmer and I lost my Clementine. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. <coughs> Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <coughs>